right, Agreed. One more sound check. Check, 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 check. What the fuck? <laughs> that wasn't me. I heard a car. That oh, wasn't me. Man, we you know outside that. doing this? <laughs> like, that wasn't me. <laughs> That was not me. So I got a green screen on the patio. It's going crazy. <laughs> Welcome to Geek Blasphemy, the show where players say the most blasphemous statements that you wouldn't say in the Discord chat. I'm your host, Young Deuces, and let's right, jump right into it and introduce our players. I'm going to start off with... ATO, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? What's popping? What's popping? How y'all doing? Man, doing great, doing great. You ready for the show? Yeah, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. All right, all right. Next, I got to introduce my guy, my brother in arms, man. The one and only Bacardi Sensei, man. How you doing, bro? What's good, everybody? How we doing? How we doing? You know, how you're living? How you're living? <laughs> all right, now the, the notorious Crystal. How you doing, Crystal? Notorious. Whoa. Don't act like you ain't who you is. Don't act like you ain't who you is. Listen, <laughs> now you know. Everybody know now. So yep. <laughs> and the number one antagonist on the timeline. We have the one and only Pierre Steps. How you doing, bro? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, I, was, I love it. <laughs> Uh -uh. <laughs> Every time Pierre's on, we know we're going to have a good time. And pre, we was having a blast with that conversation. So I already know this group of individuals is going to have some amazing hot takes. So I want to go over the game and kind of go over the rules for the listeners. So players will be giving four categories, as you see displayed on the screen. All right. You will choose between video games, anime, movies and TV and comic books. After you have selected your category, players will choose between levels one and three. And each level is worth a certain amount of points. And you gain these by figuring out who said that most blasphemous statement. Now, you will get two minutes to interrogate all the other players to figure out who said this statement. After the time runs out, you as the player gets to call out the person who you believe said this statement. If you get it wrong, then the points you choose will get cut in half and you get one more try to figure out who said the statement. If you get the last try wrong, unfortunately, you end up with no points. And then the accused player will tell us whether or not they are the person that did, that said this. Now, don't forget, this is a show about blasphemous statements. So I need all the dramatics, which I don't think that uh, that should be an issue <laughs> with this group right here. <laughs> um, now, if the player is correct, they do win that level. And the person with the most points at the end will be the winner and gets inducted into our highlight reel. Now, our highlight reel will allow the winner one minute to say their most blasphemous statement and explain why without any interactions. So now everybody else is going to get put on mute. And why everybody's on mute, you just got to you gotta take it. You got to sit there while that person is getting their shit off. So now that I went over the rules, I want to check with my contestants and my players. How are you guys feeling? You guys understand the rules? Yep. Think we good? Think we solid? Think Yay. we solid? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to start off with ATO first. ATO, which category are you picking? Let's do anime. Anime. How much are you betting on yourself? Shit, I'm on a budget. 100. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. All right. ATO doing anime for 100. Let's get that blasphemous statement on the screen. All right. Attack on Titan is overhyped. Let's right. We're going to start that timer and then ATO, go ahead and start your interrogation, bro. Why is Attack on Titan overhyped, Mr. Pierre? I think Attack on Titan is really good. What the fuck are you talking about? Why is Attack on Titan? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta ask, you gotta ask, ask different questions, bro. You can't ask the direct question. Just ask some questions. What if you had to figure this clue out? How are you gonna figure it out? Jesus, why I want to go first? Cause ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got this. You got this. Young you got this, with, G? Young lady with the bucket head. Are you familiar with Attack on Titan? Absolutely. I'm a Jaegerist. Okay, just making sure. See, damn, man, I don't even know, man. Uh, woo. 
Oh man, I should have picked a different category. Okay, uh, and it's a hundred points. Way. That's why hey, I'm on a budget. Um, <laughs> on a <the> budget. <laughs> you oh, get what you gosh. pay for. Yeah, exactly. The horrible interrogations. All right, so um, man. I don't know. Uh, they just accuse somebody. Just go straight. Just go I straight. Mean, straight. Know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know. I know. I'm trying to think. When I'm just, you know what? My man down at the bottom with the, with the geek set. Uh, yeah, you. All right, Bacardi. Bacardi, Bacardi I, did you? I believe, I, believe it's, I believe it's bro. All right, Bacardi, did you say Attack on Titan is overhyped? Absolutely not. Oh, uh, mm. all right. But now, ATO, you get one mm. more shot. You now you want now you at fifty points because you bet a hundred. You got it. one more shot to get it to get it right. Okay, I could just go ahead and just and just and just accuse a person without interrogating them. I mean, you got t- you got fifteen seconds to yeah, interrogate. You, sure you, you know, or what? you get I, accused. I, I, no, I'm accusing Pierre now. Really Pierre, now. Pierre steps. Did you say this blasphemous statement? Um, I did. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh go crazy with this camera. Oh, like, hey, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, let, me, let, me, let me let me put this in the air right quick. Pierre on some G shit, bro. You one of my favorite influences, bro. I swear to God, bro. It's, Cause I know what I'm gonna get every time I see this man. I know what I'm gonna get. All right, cool enough for that. Let's get All right, it. so Pierre, I appreciate that. Why, why do you believe Attack on Titan is overhyped, G? I will tell you why. <laughs> to me, I think Attack on Titan is overhyped. It is so hyped that we have to wait for about three fucking or six months to watch another goddamn episode, <laughs> right? And then on top of that, it's not just one episode, it's a whole hour. And guess what happens afterwards? We had to wait another three to six months. I'd rather watch one piece of this bullshit ass show. I love Aaron Yeager. But at the same time, if we have to wait another three to six months for this shit, I'm not gonna watch Attack on Titan no more. That's why. All right, Bacardi, you are our next contestant. What category are you picking? Uh, let me see. Let's go with uh, video games. And how much are you betting on yourself? Mm. We're going to bet the 200. We're going to go two. I can't go cheap. <laughs> but, uh, video games for the 200. All right, let's get that statement on the, on the board. Sonic the Hedgehog is better than any character ever <laughs> created. <laughs> hey, right, y'all really didn't know, know what to do with these. Y'all just made some statements, dog. <laughs> Bacardi, go ahead and start your interrogation, bro. Uh, hey, ATO, you a fan of you a fan of Sonic? I am. Have you played all of them? I have. Like, so have you played the latest one as well? What do you think of the latest one? My child plays that one more than me. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Open Pierre, world. you a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, I like Shadow more than Sonic, so yeah. Oh, you like Black <laughs> Sonic? That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I mean, okay. Have you played all the video games? Fuck no. Oh, it's stupid ass camera, bro. No, no, no. no, this camera for the, this camera's ready to start the show. I like it. I this camera's play. the host. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, <laughs> I only I only play like three to four games of Sonic, bro. I ain't played the whole thing. I'm just gonna be honest. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, okay. Crystal, you played Sonic. I'm assuming. I feel like I feel a like in the room games. everybody has. A few mm-hmm. games. You played yeah. all the games? Not all of them, but a few of them. Do you have a favorite out of them? Um, I believe it was Sonic Battle that was on the Game Boy SP. Ooh. That was my favorite one. I like that yeah. one the most because it gives you a chance to play as all the characters. Um, and then the storyline in that one honestly was the best in my opinion. Uh, you had a Gizoid who knew how to snatch up all different abilities from all the other characters in the games. That's the um, game. Yeah, Sonic Battle, that was my favorite one. Um, 
I tried to play Sonic Frontier yeah. recently on Twitch. I didn't really like that one. I felt like that was like fucking boring. Mm. Um, I stopped seconds. streaming it. Sorry, I'm done. Right. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to go with Crystal with this statement. Crystal, did you say that Sonic the Hedgehog is better than any character ever created? I never said that. I never oh. agreed to that. And I have to go up here on this one. Why would we say this when Shadow exists? Like, be for real. Be fucking for real. <laughs> <Not so. laughs> All right, Bacardi, you get one more shot for the hundred. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with ATO only because he's a, a proud, proud papa with a son, a son who apparently <laughs> loves Sonic. <laughs> ATO, did you say Sonic the Hedgehog is better than any character ever created? Pierre style. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my! I did. <laughs> you did, huh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, background what are you doing on this show, bro? Your background did not change neither. That background was staying fast. That was, fast you, that was <laughs> the movie version of Pierre. Hell, <laughs> <bro. yeah. laughs> ATO, all right, bro, tell us. Why do you believe Sonic the Hedgehog is better than any character ever created? I mean, I grew up with it. I love them. You know, we got a little one. She loves them. But I only said it to be blasphemous, so. So um, you don't even believe this thing? So you don't stand on your heel? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's Cap. I, no, I, I stand on it. I mean, he's, no, okay. he's, 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 he's I mean, for shit, the show. We, we got a whole ass a cafe downtown San Diego right now for him. He does have a point. You know what I'm oh, saying? True. That's and in, solid, a lot, in, a, in a lot of ways, I said it because he's the most recognizable character, even though Mario was somewhat more, a little bit more um, uh, recognize uh, or a little bit more famous than him. But when you see him and then from all the different generations, we come from the beginning, the middle to now, he's, to me, he's the most recognizable, the most famous, the coolest looking one. And kids that were just born yesterday know who he is. So that's why. I, I you know what? You got a point there with the coolest because as much as I fuck with Mario, I always looked at Sonic as the cooler, like brother of, of Mario. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like he was always the cooler alternative. No one grew up wanting to be a Caucasian plumber from New York, bro. <laughs> Hell the fuck no. You throwing fireballs and, and shit? And then, and then, and, hey, bro, and, and, and then when we found out that Sonic is, is Steve Urkel, well, that made it an extra lit. Yeah. You know yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, is yeah. true. I can All agree right, with that. So Bacardi, you, know, you got your 100 points on there. All I'll right, Crystal, that, you are our next contestant. Hey, really Go ahead and party. tell me which category that you are picking. God, my anxiety is through the roof. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep it simple. It's my first uh, show. I'm going to do anime for 100 points, please. Anime for the hundo. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go ahead and get that blasphemous statement on the board. Second season of Vinland Saga was mid at best. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the your, your, the timer going and go ahead and start your interrogation. I hate myself because I didn't make it to season two yet. So we're gonna mm. go based on what I seen on TikTok and the <laughs> cute little memes that people put up on Instagram. Um, Bacardi, you seen Villain Saga? Mm hmm. I have. I have. Who's your favorite character out of Villain Saga? Hmm. <sighs> Mm. I actually can't remember his fucking name right now. But fam who got his who uh, Thorfinn cut his fingers off. <sighs> okay. Okay. But I cannot think of his name. In the first, he was in the first season. Mm hmm. ATL, if you seen Vinland Saga, what was your favorite fight? The the main one. <laughs> I'm blaming his ass right now. I'm putting on my own. I'm, right I'm blaming him right now. Right now. I'm putting I'm right. putting points on the line. Blaming him right now. ATO, <laughs> did you say second season of Villain Saga was mid at best? He <laughs> went once, man. Oh my God, dog. <laughs> I, got, I got to get the anime smirk too. Like this. Hmm. I did. <laughs> Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. 
So now you got 50 points, Crystal, to, to figure this out. I'm going to stop biting. Uh, I'm going to stop biting. No, no, you How do you feel about main pro tags with blonde hair? <laughs> what? <laughs> I really don't know, to be honest. I didn't even watch the second season yet. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm. This shit about to fry me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna still. I'm gonna bet my last fifty points on Bacardi. I'm gonna play it smart. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bet my last fifty points on Bacardi. All right, Bacardi. Did you say second season of Villain Saga was mid at best? I did. <laughs> Cause that shit was. <laughs> <laughs> I have Absolutely a, was. I have a All right. Why did you, why did you feel that second season of Villain Saga? Damn, the first season just had the, the growth of of Thorfinn like through the first season had way more fights, way more interesting characters. Like this being just really set on one location pretty much for the whole season really just to me it was more of a drag if anything. It was pretty much, you know, I just didn't it didn't give me any kind of growth. You know what I'm saying? And we really got a full season of just like filler to me. To get to some more shit. The reason why I love this show so much is because you never know who's lying or not. Because I yeah. couldn't tell that Bacardi said this because of his responses of to Crystal's question. <laughs> it's like you gotta. It's like, do I trust this person or do I not trust this person? I thought yeah. I might have gave it away by and just being I, I was gonna bet. I was gonna bet all my hundred points on Bacardi too, but you know, it's fine. A hundred points. I thought I would have gave it I'll away by it. saying I didn't mean to say like <laughs> in the first season because then I would definitely right. let you know that I didn't give a fuck about the second season. Like I said, my favorite person was in the first season. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, Pierre. Shout out to the on-the-job training, because I get it now. Okay, Pierre, which category are you picking? Video game for 300, please. Video games for the 300. Let's go ahead and get that blasphemous statement on the board. The original Nintendo... Yeah. Is still the most superior console to date. The ooh, all right, let's go ahead and get that timer going. And Pierre, start your interrogation. Hello, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm great. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Cool. Now, with this question, I'm going to ask you, please answer it very wisely and very well. Okay. Do you play a lot of games on Nintendo? I don't. Okay. Mm. So you never play Mario? I have. Never play Mario Kart, Mario Party? I have. Mm. Did you play when you was a little kid? I did. Mm. So you tell me that you don't have a you don't have a Nintendo system on you. It's in the corner over there. I'll grab it if you want me to. It's, it's right there. I'm looking right at it. Is it the Switch? It is. Mm, that's the only Nintendo game you have? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. A O T. How are you doing today? <laughs> A T O. <laughs> A T O? Fuck. I thought it was A O T. My bad. No reset. Attack reset. on Titan. I thought, why, I thought he didn't really call him Attack on Titan. Like, come on. T O. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing very well today, my good sir. Yes, I am. That's good. That's good. Now, question is, what is your yeah. favorite game on Nintendo? Ooh, that's a... Wow, on Nintendo? Yeah. Woo! Your top three. Talking? Go right now. 30 mm. seconds. Oh, that's fine. On Nintendo, probably Mario World, Secret of Mana, and Turtles in Time. All right, cool. Bacardi. Same question to you. What is your What's favorite the question? Game Nintendo? What is your favorite Nintendo games? Top three right now. Go. Um, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, um, Super Mario Brothers Three, mm -hmm. and mm, Resident Evil Zero. <clears throat> All right, I'm going with Bacardi. Bacardi. Yeah. Did you say the original Nintendo is still the most superior console to date? <clears throat> yes, I did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I knew you did because you said some deep cut video games. Yeah, I really would have gave it away by just being the oldest motherfucker in the room. You know what I'm saying? No, it wasn't that. I was going with the experience of the games that have been played on Nintendo. That was my that was my into uh you and know. I and I figured yeah, I figured yeah, that was a good move too. Cause when I mentioned you notice all the games I mentioned were Super Nintendo games. Yep, yep. And that was the only time that I really enjoyed. And I heard Legend Nintendo. of Zelda too. Yeah, he's yeah. All right, so Bacardi, real quick, why? I mean, just bro, if, if you think about what the original, I'm talking about the actual original Nintendo. Like, yeah. this is the only console that had probably the most like attachments. That, like, as we talk about attachments now, but I mean, Nintendo had the power glove, the trackpad, the four player oh, adapters. Dude. They had four player co op games already back in the days. Like, they, mm -hmm. like, and they pretty much a lot of yeah. their games are what paved the way. Like, we are still playing those legendary games that came out on Nintendo. Like, at that, from that, from damn near 1980, that's like, you know, 1884, 85. So yeah, it's yeah. like, I feel like because of whatever, everything that they did back then, even if it's died mm -hmm. with them, the idea lived on through every other console going forward. That's a good point. That is a solid point. That, that is, is a, a solid point. point. <laughs> That's a great point dude. However, this I mean, I, 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 you know what? I'm the host. I'm the host. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Man, so, hey, you know what? Thank you guys for checking out Geek Blasphemy. Before we get into our winner, we are going to make sure that we have, give everybody a chance to say how we can follow you and how our people can support you. So we're going to start off same order. ATO, tell the people how they can follow you and where they can support you at. Uh, just follow me at ATO Worldwide. Everything, uh, socials, all my uh, my DSPs, everything is ATO Worldwide. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bacardi, what's up with you, man? How can we follow you and where can we support you, Well, Yeah, you can uh, you can follow me on Bacardi as Bacardi Sensei on uh, pretty much Twitter and IG. Uh, you can support, I mean, buy some merch. Fuck with us, listen to us on Geek Set, of course. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, Make sure you invest in, in and pay attention to the the Black Geek documentary that we just dropped. The tra teaser trailer just dropped out, so you make sure you guys go to our our IG page or our, our YouTube and check out that. Awesome, yeah, Black Geek documentary coming soon. All right, uh, Crystal, you are up next. How can people follow you, and what can we support you on? Hi, everybody. Um, you guys can support me on Black Crystal Cosplay on everything: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, Black Crystal Cost on Twitch. Um, the best way to support me is just sharing my content because I've been on hiatus for a few years for mental health reasons, but I'm back now stronger than ever. Um, mm -hmm. And I would like to continue pursuing my dreams and just getting a chance to know everybody. So Black Crystal Cosplay on everything. Love it. Love it. Love it. Pierre, bring us home, man. Where can people follow you at? What can we support you on? Hello, my name is Pierre Steps. I'm the antagonist <laughs> community. You guys can follow me everywhere. Pierre Steps everywhere except for my Twitch. My Twitch name is Pierre Steps TV because that's my <laughs> personal side of where I be raging when I play the game. <laughs> All right. Congrats to our winner of today's game, the one and only Pierre Steps. And being that you are the winner, we welcome you to our highlight reel. You will have one minute to say your most blasphemous statement and explain why. And the other players are going to be on mute with not being able to to to, re, uh, to say anything, rebuttal or anything. You just get to get your shit off for one minute. So we're going to go ahead and mute everybody. And then Pierre, go ahead and get your shit off. I can talk about video games, right? Sweet. All right, cool. Because I talked about this yesterday. Let's do this. So I think all the new video games are trash now nowadays. And the reason why I say they all are trash is because all the old games that we used to play was really fun and creative and whatnot, right? But the new video games that we play... It's the same old, same old. We're getting tired of this shit, bro. We want to play something new. We want to play something fresh. Why don't you guys, like the whole company, try out something new so then, you know, just throw it out there and see what we like, bro. Because then when you see what we like, you'll keep on doing it. And then make it more creative. You feel me? There were so many games that we used to play back in the old days, bro. So many games. We have hundreds of games to play. Nowadays, the games that we play is more, it's basically like top 10 at least. It's like only 10 games that we play. And we could play it for about a couple hours. But when we go back to the old games, to the old games, we have a whole marathon playing that game. I have played Kingdom Hearts about 12 times, and I can, I can never get over that damn game. That game is so fun. And the other games, like, you know, Dev Jam, Fight for New York, 
uh, San Andreas. I love San Andreas. And plus, also, since now we got mods that, that I just discovered, it's pretty fun. It makes it even better. But I'm just saying, like, companies, please try to do something fresh. Please stop putting the same old games over and over. Yes, we'll buy it, but then we'll hate it. You guys care about the money. What about caring about the fans? Stop worrying about the fucking money! Thank you for checking out Geek Blasphemy. I appreciate all my players for coming through. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for Arcade Tokens. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time.